Every year when I was a kid, my family would go up to my aunt's lake house near Freiburg, Maine and spend a week on the lake, boating, fishing, and just relaxing in the summer sun. I can't even tell you how many amazing memories I have of that camp and so, so many amazing times with friends and family over the years. You know, we also would visit uh, the coast of Scarborough and Old Orchard Beach. And when I was even smaller, my dad actually owned a small camp on a pond in Lyman, Maine. Now that I'm older and have kids of my own, I find myself lucky enough to call Maine home. And yet, even though I live here, it's still where I choose to vacation with my family. Here we are in the Western mountains of Maine, overlooking Rangeley Lake. And this has to be one of my favorite spots in all of Maine. Absolutely breathtaking all times of year. You know, we've been coming up here for the last eight years or so, and I just love this area but it's just one of the truly amazing places to visit in Maine. And so in this video, I'm gonna talk about why if you've never been to the great state of Maine, you need to put it on your bucket list as an absolute must visit at least once in your lifetime. But first, just let me introduce myself. My name's Cam Avery, if you're new to the channel. I'm a local Maine resident and real estate agent with the Avery Realty Group and Keller Williams Coastal Realty. And if you wanna learn more about Maine and New Hampshire, what it's like to live here, make sure to subscribe to our channel because that's all we talk about. So we might as well start off with the most iconic part of Maine, which is the beautiful rocky coastline. Maine is a coastal wonderland that will leave you breathless with over 5,000 miles of coastline. It's a paradise for beach lovers, nature enthusiasts, and photographers alike. From the iconic Acadia National Park to the hidden gems of Mount Desert Island, Maine's landscape will literally sweep you off your feet. There are so many great beaches and towns to explore like York Beach, Algonquit, Old Orchard Beach, Camden, Bar Harbor, just to name a few. Whether you're hiking along the rugged cliffs or relaxing on picturesque sandy shores, the beauty of Maine's coast is an experience you will cherish for the rest of your life and definitely not a site you will wanna miss on your visit to Maine. As an added bonus to visiting the coast of Maine, you'll undoubtedly come across some incredibly scenic lighthouses. Did you know that Maine boasts the highest number of lighthouses in the United States? And if you just learned something new, if you could just do me a huge favor, hit the like button. I know it's super small, but trust me guys, it really helps me out, continue to reach people. So thank you so much for doing that. These historic beacons stand tall, guiding ships through treacherous waters for centuries. Visiting iconic lighthouses like Portland Headlight, Bass Harbor Headlight will transport you back in time. The maritime heritage of Maine is deeply embedded in its culture and exploring its seafaring history is a treasured part of visiting the state. Now, as you drive up the rocky coast of Maine, you will be greeted with dozens of quaint coastal towns. Make sure to stop in them. Maine is dotted with charming coastal towns that will make you feel like you stepped into a postcard. Places like Camden, Bar Harbor, and Kennebunkport offer a perfect blend of small town charm, scenic views, and delectable seafood. Stroll through the quaint streets, visit local boutiques, and indulge in mouth-watering lobster rolls because, you know, honestly, it would not be an authentic main experience if you didn't eat some lobster. If all you had time to do on your visit was see the coast, then that would be a trip in itself. But as any local would tell you, the coast of Maine is really only scratching the surface of all that the state has to offer. If you have more time, or if you're more of a lakes and mountains type person, then Maine has you covered. Maine has over 6,000 lakes, so you probably won't have much of a problem finding water. And there are a few great areas that offer some incredible wildlife and sporting opportunities. In Western Maine, towns like Bridgeton and Freiburg have incredible access to lakes like Keezer and Long Lake. And if you travel up further north, you end up where we are today in the beautiful Rangeley Lakes region. This area is famous for its sporting heritage with amazing fly fishing, hunting, and winter sports like snowmobiling and skiing at Saddleback Mountain. The Belgrade Lakes region is another fantastic place, and heading further north, you'll find Moosehead Lake, which is one of the biggest lakes in the state. There is no shortage of amazing lakes and mountains in Maine, and if you visit, I would highly recommend visiting a few of them if you can. Even though my family lives in a coastal area of Maine, I actually much prefer the slower pace of life and tranquil setting of just sitting at the lake fishing or boating. I am definitely a lake camp person in terms of lake versus the ocean. Which one are you? Make sure to comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Maine is truly the place to be if you are an outdoor enthusiast. 
with its vast wilderness and pristine landscapes, is an adventurer's paradise. Whether you're hiking through the rugged mountains of Baxter State Park, kayaking in the tranquil lakes, or fishing in the crystal clear streams, Maine's natural beauty will rejuvenate your soul and create memories to last a lifetime. There are also some great places to go whitewater rafting and really put yourself out in the wilderness, but if that's not your thing and you'd rather have your food served to you rather than hunt for it yourself, don't worry, there is plenty of great culture and food in Maine. Maine's culinary scene is a feast for the senses, especially if you love seafood. From freshly caught lobster to mouth-watering clam chowder, the state's coastal bounty will tantalize your taste buds. But it's not just seafood, Maine's farm-to-table culture offers a delightful array of locally sourced ingredients and unique dishes that will satisfy any foodie's cravings. No matter where you end up, you'll be able to find great food while visiting in Maine. Another one of the most unforgettable aspects of visiting Maine is its warm and friendly people. Mainers are known for their hospitality and genuine kindness, making you feel right at home. In fact, this is one of the reasons I decided to stay in Maine after I visited. You'll be greeted with a smile, engaged in lively conversations, and might even find yourself invited to join a local festival or event. Embracing the Maine way of life will leave you with cherished memories and perhaps some lifelong friendships. Finally, you may be wondering, what is the best time of year to visit Maine? I would say this, if you have young kids come in the summertime, as this is when the majority of activities will be, and you'll find the weather to be the most enjoyable for the whole family and friends. However, if you want to be here in the most beautiful time of the year, the fall in Maine is truly absolutely stunning. The foliage and changing leaves make the forest in Maine come alive and it's truly something to see. Also, if you're into winter sports like snowmobiling or skiing, then winter may be the time for you to visit Maine. I'd encourage you to do your research and if you're thinking about coming to Maine for more than just a visit, make sure to download our free relocation guide. The link is right in the description below. So there you have it. Maine is a place that beckons you to its shores, mountains, and charming towns. It's captivating beauty, rich maritime heritage, warm locals, delicious cuisine, and vibrant culture make it an absolute must-visit destination. Whether you're a nature lover, a history buff, or simply seeking a place to unwind and create lasting memories, Maine has it all. So add it to your bucket list, plan that trip, and get it ready for an adventure of a lifetime, and make sure to watch this video all about exploring the area I'm in now, the Rangeley Lakes region.